Hello world, I'm Gokarp, welcome back to Silent Storm, where today we are going for the final mission here at the organization base. Click on this region to enter Thor's Hammer's base. Tucked away on this remote island, the enemy remains determined to success with their business. How foolish! While striking the island with long-range bombers is an option, it has been decided that you should be granted the honor of finishing off what you have started. Good luck crushing them in their lair. That's a flying PK. All systems ready. Five minutes and counting down. You hear that? It's over. You're too late. We'll see about that. Yes, we will. Four minutes. Stand by. Okay, so what we want to do here is destroy the Panzer Klein, of the leader's Panzer Klein, and yeah, there's a lot of things to go down here. We got this rocket right in the middle, and I seem to remember there being like maybe a door we needed to go down, and I think it might have been that. One thing might have been in this mission that at some point it goes so that we gotta solo it with our main character. I, I honestly don't remember. It's been a while since the last time I've actually be, played this game through. Because what I usually, because I, my memory of this last mission is that it's not a very fun mission. So usually I just end the games at the point where we're supposed to be going to this mission. Uh, most of my saves are at that. Uh, wait, where? What is there? Are you seriously telling me I can't, like... Oh man! I thought that there would be something that would go around the whole thing here, like, at the level we're at, so... No, we gotta run! Run horrifying... Horrifying amounts of running. Okay, Eagle, could you... If you could go here and just spot... The, uh, enemy leader PK? No? Nothing? Okay, Zail, uh, you can go and hide and... Yes, sir! Like, seriously? Is there... Oh, this is... Oh, this map is so, so annoying, because it's it's this size, you know? Like, this little square is the entire size of the map, so the map edges are sometimes kind of like wonky places in this game. Uh, okay, Zail, you run here. That, wait, why? Why would that take 74 when the previous spot just took? Oh, cause that's like on top of something. Okay, Zail, you run here. Okay, we are seeing someone. Yeah, cause like I cannot move the the screen like higher from this spot because it cannot like go over the edge of the map. Uh it's kind of annoying. Okay, we cannot see the leader from this side either. Uh, Gary, could you go and spot that person from there for us? That would be very nice. Okay, thank you, Gary. Wait, how is it a zero? How is that a zero percent chance to hit? I could clearly see that oh okay are you telling me that from that spot yeah okay it was just from that spot uh okay not very good not very good he had is there like a door is there any way to get in here okay oh there is a door there right well run here uh Ahmad you run here as well he has my attention. Okay. Good job. Reggie! I don't know, maybe just stay here. Hoping that you can see the enemy and throw the grenade at them. Okay, like this looks like a control room of sorts. Right, so I assume we could go into the control room and deal with things. Well. Like, is there anything here at the bottom? Looks like a door. Oh, there's an elevator-looking thing over here. 
Okay, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think that maybe. Why is the path not found? Yeah, maybe we need to kill the PK, like the main enemy. How is the path not found? What are it you? It cannot be done. What are you talking about, game? Clearly, there is a path there. Are you telling me I can't use that path? Can I go here? No. Okay. Not. It cannot be done. Okay. Well, interesting. Just carp. You just run wherever you want to run and see if you can spot some enemies while you're running. Where even are you? Okay, you're there. Okay. Nothing happened. Well, carp, keep on running. I would expect nothing less. Uh, Gary, yeah, why don't you run in here? Hey, Ben Hoyt. Okay, like, where is the? <laughs> where did the flying PK go? <laughs> I had assumed such a thing would make quite a lot of noise, and I wouldn't assume it, like, it could go and hide. Praise it. Oh man, like, this is, yeah, because I'm click. Clicking on this thing to turn Praise it. Uh, just doesn't really... S yeah, or you can click like outside the level to turn. Yeah, this is uh, not a very good final mission. Such a great game, but the best, this final mission is just very poor. Yeah, like I'm clicking here! And Eagle's just not turning. Because this is like out of bounds or something that I'm clicking to. Okay, that's weird. Okay, Zail. Uh, why don't you get down here? Okay, who is blocking your path? I, how? How is this? Oh, because Ahmad is probably blocking your path over here. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Ahmad, you run here. Reggie, why didn't you start running here as well? Ich verstehe. And Zail, yep, you too. Immediately, sir. And in this mission, like, we don't really care if anyone dies, because, you know, it's the last mission. So, uh, basically, I don't really even need to hide with these people, because if the Panzer Klein just comes out anywhere, uh, yeah, we can just, you know, everyone just get a move on. I am student of war. It's so weird. Where is... Where is... That flying panzer, Klein? As you order. Oh no. Damn it, I should have run with Eagle first, of course. Vicona. Yeah, like, where is it? Where did it go? This is weird. Okay, uh... Ahmad, you run there. Eagle, can you get here now? Okay, you can. Good, just... Uh... Yeah, you're gonna be like... Our stopper here. Ahmad, you run here. Reggie, you run here. Zail, come after everyone. And if you can't, guys can hide, please do so. Gary, oh right, you're still here. Uh, you hide as well and just follow everyone. Yeah, I'm like, where? Probably should hide with Carp though. Because she gets killed. And why is the game just like not giving us... You need Renegade Soldier, level change, 12th level. Interesting. Oh yeah, probably should have gone and... Okay, there! I wish my father can someday forgive my youthful stupidity. Okay, so... She was just right there, and we didn't see her? Yeah. 
Okay, well, Eagle, you're just... Wait. Hit target. How much HP? Okay, well, I... Hit target. Honestly didn't... I honestly had no clue that she'd have, like, this much health. Okay, Reggie, why can you not throw a grenade at her? Okay, you can throw. Throw it, please. You should have killed him. Her. Okay, so... This is... Very much... Going... Not how I wanted it to... Confirmed. What are you talking about? Path not found. Okay. And yeah, you gotta heal yourself there a bit, Carp, because that's that's really the only thing we can do. Gary, can you get here? No. Okay, so Gary, where are you and why can't you get there? Okay, well you're just gonna have to try and follow everyone else. No, Ahmad. Uh, I mean, she was using some sort of explosive thing, so please just yes, come closer. move a bit, just aim them in the head, and just... Yeah, you can't really do anything with these regular weapons against Ponsaclines. My wound is not serious. Oh, well that's nice. He's just probably has so many crits from Eagle that they just can't do anything, so... Panzerklein has been compromised. The incompetent Nitwitz! It was supposed to be indestructible! Three minutes. All personnel should review emergency procedures at this time. Now, reviewing the procedures at this time is probably not actually that good an idea. Seriously. There's gonna. Mm, I wonder what I should do in an emergency and start looking through some book that tells you those things. No, don't don't look through that. Don't review the procedures. Just do the procedures at this time. Two minutes, 30 seconds. All systems are ready for launch. To stop the launch, I need to get below. Yet, I don't believe I can fit into the hoist wearing my PK. Yeah, this is so fun, because they honestly believe that people would only come here using PKs. Like, after the first game where I used PKs, I just decided, no, I, I don't really want to use those things. So, <laughs> oh, this is so fun. Two minutes, 15 seconds. Safety personnel assume emergency positions. The hoist is too small for one person wearing a PK suit. We need to get rid of them and descend one at a time. Two minutes and counting. I'll go first. I'll send the hoist back up when I get below. 90 seconds. So yeah, I did remember that there is this part where we have to go alone. Which probably means that we're like in the worst possible situation because we're an engineer. If your main character is uh, a scout or a uh, a scout or a sniper, then that's not really that big of a deal. This is for you. How nice! I was not expecting to find a woman in charge. So, will you show a woman mercy? No. I will lose a couple of nights sleep, but I will get over it. <sighs> yeah, cuz... Okay, so first of all, we're pretty hurt here, as you can see. Second of all, uh, we don't have, like, any spot. Okay, what is, is, what is that? That is Helena. Okay, if we just uh, run right next to her, we can take one shot. Is I believe what is... Okay, I'm gonna save at this point. Save. The end. Just because I really don't want to do all everything that happened there. 
again. Oh. Yeah, and then we gotta run to hide a bit. Yep. Okay, she's the only one here, it seems. No, I'm going to use a turn here to heal myself. That's better. I will try to be more careful. Yeah, then I'll put some explosives in hand and maybe we'll throw some. Oh! We got to real time mode. I mean their sight. Oh! Is that Helena? Yeah, that's Helena. Helena, this was foolish of you to come right here. Now it will be even harder for the enemy. It is over for you. And now I must bring your crazy plans to an end. Oh, she had a katana. Oh, she has a key. I can honestly say I don't really remember, like, how the end goes here. Escape the launch bay. How do I escape the launch bay? Oh, there's a door. Do I use that? I like, cause she had a key. Where do I use the key? Do I use the key somewhere? Like, that door's closed. Uh, and yeah, she broke this thing so no one else could come and help me, sir. A place somewhere where I can use the key? I don't know. Well, I'll just run towards the door. Yeah, I would... Zoom? This is where I get out. Oh, I just needed to walk there. Okay. This right here is a thing that no game should ever, ever really do. You don't let a warning siren ring on all the time. You just don't do that. Like every game that does this, it really gets on my nerves. And now suddenly that I think it just doubled. I think there's two of the same sound going on the slightly, at slightly different intervals. Like, oh, this is real. Like this is. This is honestly driving me insane. Congratulations, soldier! You have successfully completed your assignment. Helena Hellstein's plan to hold a world weakened by war at the mercy of her terrorist organization has come to an end. Though the journey was far more complex than you imagined, you unraveled its mysteries and brought Thor's hammers down. In all likelihood, the seed for this lunacy was planted when the ancient manuscript was discovered in Tibet. Dr. Steinberg's successful completion of the theoretical beam weapon described therein drew the attention of Helena Helston. Like, this is, like, this part of the story kind of never makes any sense to me, because we find, we can find the UFO, we can find the beam weapon from there. Or are we, like, supposed to think that the aliens came down at, in ancient, ancient Tibet, and people there wrote a manuscript about the beam weapon, and that's how they got it, and then we just, they also just happened to found the UFO? Or then again, like, the UFO is a random encounter, maybe we should just should not consider random encounters canon, right? Because they can be just like, a, and even the fact that it is, like, it is clearly a, what's the word, an easter egg. Yeah, because it, it looks like the XCOM, or the UFO uh, rifle, so the, like, UFO enemy unknown laser rifle, so it's clearly an easter egg, so maybe we don't need to think about that as part of the story at all. Anyways, uh, Dr. Spencer welcome to the theory of beam when he described the ring, drew the attention of Helena Helston. Shortly thereafter, he died suspiciously without his work ever being published. As the world approached war and the window of opportunity for Operation Silent Storm arose, Helston learned of a brilliant Russian scientist, Dr. Lebedev's research had led to the discovery of the Panzer Klein, an armament breakthrough which combined the ultimate in personal armor with the most advanced combat weapons. Thor's hammer hired him immediately. So, so I think I think Operation Silent Storm is the operation that the Thor's hammer did, so that's why the game is actually called Silent Storm. By the time the war commenced, the terrorist organization had infiltrated the German and British military. Obers Helmut Koch and Major Alfred Newhouse were well placed. Their positions allowed Helstein to monitor both sides' intelligence and to conduct her activities based on that information. Their military ranks also allowed them to order their men to perform operations beneficial to the organization unwittingly. Only two things stood in the way of the organization's objective to get the beam weapon into orbit and hold every country on Earth hostage to their demands. They needed a large quantity of a rare mineral to power the beam weapon and the rocket technology necessary to get their weapon into space. 
The mineral they were able to mine in the Russian Urals, the rocket propulsion system they killed, kidnapped, and eventually traded Panzerklein technology with the Germans to acquire. Fortunately, there was a third obstacle in the way of achieving their objective. One of the organizations had accounted for in their plans. A determined squad leader from Abwehr Section 2, whose tenacity would uncover their ultimate goal, and whose courage would put a stop to it. Oh. So there I was, on a god-forsaken island. Above a sense of time and place, in the eye of a passing storm. Few in the world will ever know what wave of terror awaited them. But with the right kind of eyes, you can still see the high watermark, where the wave finally broke and rolled back. Yep, so that was uh, the game. And just out of respect for the people at Nivol Interactive, we are going to watch the credits here. Because, you know, these are the people who made the game, and, you know, they deserve credit for making this game. This is the best game in the world! You know? So, of course, they deserve credit. Like, it has problems. Sure. What game doesn't have problems? But just the mi- and, you know, the, the end is just very anticlimactic, in my opinion. Because... Considering the fact that usually the last two missions you're gonna do in this game are the last two missions that we did, right? We did the uh, uh, the complex at Urals and then Burger's factory, and those are the two biggest missions basically in the game. And they have a lot of things like if, well, I think the first time ever I played this game and I wasn't quite aware of how, for instance, the Ural complex mission works. Like I see, you know. You know, I was immediately looking for the mines that I needed to, like, remove, because uh, I think originally it's just, if any of those things are mined, blow up, or like the big explosive things inside the complex, maybe not the mines inside the little house that I uh, did. Wow, there's weird, like, like the, the sound just keeps dropping. Uh, but yeah, like, that mission is quite hard. If you have absolutely no idea what you're doing, and it's also the Burgers Factory mission, like if you aren't prepared for Panzer Kleins, uh, that is uh, that mission is hell. Like honestly, if we had not found the laser rifle, which was like actual supreme luck, I was just I didn't you know load and reload the game until I found the random mission. I just started. Okay, we're gonna start this mission here. De -de -de. I mean, I had tried the mission couple of times before and uh, had loaded from an earlier point but I wasn't doing that to get to the particular random encounter but if we had not gotten to that particular random encounter uh, we probably couldn't have even finished the uh, mission the Burgers factory mission because we didn't have Panzer clients like the basic idea would be that you have Panzer clients at that point and hopefully you have Panzer clients uh, that have the beam weapons because even just normal Panzerklein weapons against Panzerkleins aren't that useful. You, you need the beam weapon to actually do actual damage to Panzerkleins. But we had the uh, XCOM rifle, the laser rifle, the UFO rifle. So that made everything quite a lot easier. And also in the final mission it made everything quite a lot easier. Yeah, it would have been hell, honestly. And thinking about the fact uh, the last mission would have been hell if we hadn't had that weapon. Because Eagle did most of the damage there. And the fact that she she critted all the time, you know, and the fact that she had ambush by that point, so all of her crits were super good. Like it's possible that we critted like stun crits or blinded uh, her or something that she couldn't. Like she shot us once, and she killed Zail. All of our scouts died. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. I didn't even realize until now. But yeah, all of our scouts died. Well, there's a lot of voice actors in this game. I honestly would not have expected there to be this many voice actors. Like, does it, maybe everyone has their own voice actor. I could maybe, like, count and see how, uh, like, is that uh, as many voice actors as their characters. I think there's 20 characters on both sides, so that would be 40. And then there's... What are there? So there's, like, civil... Well, okay, the, someone... Ow, just beat my tongue again. Yeah, some of them must have, like, doubled on some sound, some voices, that's for sure. There, I don't believe there was enough 
for everyone to have their own unique voice uh, and especially like considering like the other people like there's uh, like who we hear talking in uh, cutscenes like Goh we heard talking and New House we heard talking and what who, who other uh, Steven Sidwell Stevens I think was one of the spies we heard talking yeah and also on the ally side there are also like in the base there are other people who also have voice actors so yeah some of them must have must have must have been uh, doubling up on roles but anyways I feel like I left something unsaid or had a thought that I started to talk about and then I suddenly started talking about the voice actors uh, but mostly about the uh, yeah you're gonna usually need the beam weapons to finish this game and honestly you just you kinda maybe wanna just wait and get that random encounter in Switzerland because it just makes everything so much simpler. Because the Panzer clients are not, like they're they're not the good part in this game. Like they are the worst part in this game without a doubt. Uh, and it's also one of the biggest the things that people complain about this game when it came out. Like not that I heard many people even ever playing this game, but there was. I remember there being like a a forum that was dedicated to this game, you could find like mods from there and stuff like that. Like there is a mod, like I remember someone made a mod that just removed the Panzer clients from the game and just replaced them with like heavy weapon guys that had a higher level than the other people in this, uh, in uh, the same mission. It's also this game comes uh, with a map editor, that's basically all you need to to do mods, I believe, because it's, 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 uh, but the problem with the map editor, like if you have this game and you go to the main folder of this game, there's going to be a map edit.exe there. Uh, and you, if you have, like the problem, oh, you can click on that and see what it says. It's going to say that uh, it requires MSSQL server. So Microsoft SQL server needs to be installed on your computer so that you can use that. And considering the fact that this game is from 2003, uh, I I'm I as like I don't even know if MS SQL Server is a thing anymore. But even if it is, uh, there is a very good chance that the the current version of MS SQL Server would not work with the map edit tool. So I don't know. But yeah, I remember actually installing MS SQL Server on my computer back in like 2003, 2004. Yeah, back in those days, just so I could get inside, see how the maps were in. And the actual way, especially random encounters in this map are made, uh, in this game are made, is pretty cool. Because, like, you can make, like, boxes of things that can have uh, different things inside them. Like, you can have a... And when I say boxes, I mean, like, a whole level can be a box. And it can have... You could have, like, three different, uh, uh, like layouts yeah like three different layouts of things like you could have like a forest that it, like let's think like the in most simple thing have forest a little bit of woods here a little bit of woods here then other one could be like the, there's a little bit of woods here a little bit of woods here then one there a little bit of woods here 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 so you'd have like four versions inside that one box and inside all of those boxes you could create more boxes so you could make inside one of the boxes where you had like forests here and here you could make a box like split it like to four boxes that would also all have like four different ways they could have things in them and just put enemies like that. Uh, but yeah, uh, that seems to be the credits. I'm guessing the game wants us to press ESC to get out of this. Yeah. But yeah, that's it for Silent Storm. I am super glad that I actually played this because it's been a long time since I last played this and... Man, this is so good. This is so good. Like the and the graphics and lighting, like this is from 2003. Man, I just love this game. But yeah, that's it for now. Next time we're gonna be playing something completely different. I'm Uncle Carp. This has been Silent Storm. Goodbye, bro. Thanks for watching. See you next time.